Hi there. Right, <clears throat> I'm just going to show you um, how I do hair. And all I've done at the moment is just to draw face shape, basically. And I have three colours. I've got the burnt, uh, burnt umber, uh, the burnt sienna, and white. Uh, now, if you're doing it with blue hair, green hair, red hair, you need a white and two other shades. I know you can mix because you can get more than one shade all together by mixing different ones. So I'm ju all I'm going to do now is just get myself a little palette. I use all my scraps of uh, chipboard up. I do have some paint palettes, but with acrylics, it can be hard to get off. If, it's, if you've left it thick on the palette and it dries, you can peel it off, it's fine. But if you've left it thin after watering it down, um, it can be a bit tricky to get it off. So I just use paint little uh, bits of uh, chipboard. Now all I'm going to do first of all um, to start this off is use the darkest colour first. How's my fringe going to be? Well, I think I'll just have my fringe there. Okay, now don't forget I've not drawn anything at all. And I'll just shape, shape the hair the way I want it. Okay, bring it down here. I'm doing this on card just to show you. All you do is follow the contour of the shape that you're after. Um, so I might want her to have a little bit longer hair here. And um, as you can see, I'm just brush strokes back and forth, up, up and down, left to right, like that. Okay, because you can always go in and fill in. Okay, now what I'm going to do is do this side. I should actually have it on my mats because I've got paper underneath and don't want to get all of it dirty. There we go. Um, I mean, you can fine tune yours. But like I say, I like to use quite a lot of uh, paints. It's unusual for me, as you know, to uh, waste anything. But when you're doing things like this, you need it quite thick because it dries really quick. It's already started to dry here. So you need it um, quite thick. So I just roughly get the basic shape that I'm after. That's it. Just going to have a bit of a flick in the hair. Okay? So. That's my basic shape. And I've not drawn anything. I've basically just done it um, with a brush. Then I go in for the lighter shape. And I don't uh, shade. I don't wash my brush unless I'm using the white. And I don't always do it then. Um, because it, like, it helps to blend it in. So just go over what you've already done while it's wet. If you find it drying like that, go back into the brown. And... Put the brown back in where it's dry and then when you go to get the next colour it blends in really well okay so i know the fold of a hair is going to be down like that so just follow it when it comes down here you just brush it out like that really simple quick and easy way to do hair so now you can see that it's got I'm not sure if you can see that let me just see if I can get the camera a bit better than that right so you can see the two tone in it now to highlight it you want the white bit of white on the end you don't need much I mean you can put much in and you can always go over it and straight away, I'll show you, straight away you see I've added the white and it's now got four or five different colours because it's blended straight away. And don't keep going over it like that. Keep getting a little bit of fresh white on the end of your brush. Like that. And the thing is, because it's wet, look, because it's wet, 
you can go over and over it. If you make a mistake, just go back and do the, you know, what you want to do. It's so, so easy. And so quick. Um, um, and if I want to flick out a um, fringe, I can just keep going like that. Highlight here and there. And already you've got that. Now, the trick is you need to darken it a bit. So go back into the darkest colour. And again, just follow what you've already done. I'll just show you. And now you've got a really good shade of hair. Or hair with a lot of uh, shade in it. You can go back into it with a darker colour. Go back into it with a lighter colour if you want to highlight anything. It's really quick and simple to do. See? You're just putting the highlights back in. And that's all you do basically. So I'm just, this has dried up a little bit, so I'm just going to Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of brown in it again to wet it and then go back with the red Well, it's not red, it's a rustic colour and then pick up some white Okay and You see how the colour's changing again, sorry, like that Again, a little bit more white. Follow the contour of the hair. And either way, whether you flick it down and, and to the left or from the left and up into, you know, like an S. Then go back with the darker one again. And then you can highlight a bit more. I mean, is it, you can also put like shorter hair in if you know what I mean. Because you've got all the long hair at the back, but then at the front we'll have a bit of uh, wispy hair. So it's really, let me just try and get a, a full shot of it for you. It's really, uh, oh God, honest to God, it's, <laughs> right? So that's what you've got. And that's as quick and as easy as it is. And like I say, if you're not too keen on that, uh, you can darken it again. Dip it in your dark pen. Sorry, I'm used. I'm trying to get this in shot and bring it round like that. And then you can highlight these strands by putting a bit of white on. And that's simply how you do it. I'm filming. Okay. It's not quite right. Stick some more white in it. There. Ah, done. And that's how you do it. And you've got your hair. So I hope you can see that. I hope that's helped. I'm going to have to put a face in this now. So while it's going, I might as well carry on and do a face. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, I didn't use my palette there because I didn't need, I didn't mix any colour I didn't need to. So what I'm going to do is now mix a colour which I'm going to use the um, Burnt Sienna tape and the white to get the face colour. And if you see... This is the burnt sienna, and then just put the white with it, and you get a skin tone. And uh, always keep a little bit of white on your board because you might want to lighten it. There, uh, you've got three shades basically. See, I might want to lighten that a bit more, and that's what I would start with is uh, the lighter one. 
So I'm going to go ahead and fill this face in and make a face out of it. And like I say, I don't, very, very rare do I draw anything. And if it's not quite as you want it, because it can be quite thick, spray a bit of water on it and uh, it'll go a long, a long way. You can do that with acrylics, it's great fun. So all I'm doing is, I was just showing you how to do the hair, but I am just going to put a face on this now, seeing as I've already started it, because I don't like to waste the paint. Doesn't matter if you go over the hair, because you can go back in and sort that out. Okay easy and with acrylics it's brilliant because like I said they do blend really really well and um, you can go over them and they cover up straight away I might have to come back now and show you how to do it show you this face just do a face for you <laughs> one of my doodles Like I say, I'm not bothered if I go over because I'll probably cut this one out and put it somewhere. Stick it into my art journal. So I've basically got a nice colour for the face. But obviously, um, I'm going to need to darken that slightly around the hairline. So I'll just go in with a darker colour. I mean, I'm not even changing brushes. Because I'm like that. That's what my dad were like. Although we had a lot of brushes, there's a lot you can do with one. And then go in with change your brush for your fine detail. So, I mean, I'm just mixing that. Just go a little bit more each time and get darker. And then... Um, go in with your finger. With acrylics, you can blend in with your finger. And I'm just going to... Now put my nose in. And um you can highlight, you can darken or whatever you want to do as you go along. No problems whatsoever. Okay, I'm basically just going to put in with the paint where I want the eyes. See how I've gone over that already and it's already taken that darkness out. And it's going to go off shortly ladies and gentlemen but um, don't forget the bit between um, between the nose and the lip. I'm just basically getting where I, I want my features. And there you go. So I'm just getting my shading in and then um, I'll sort it out. that a little bit and then <coughs> what I'm going to do is dry that off because uh, I might as well finish it <laughs> I'm going to come back and show you I think show you how to doodle I might as well now started it <laughs> 